Yo, what is up, Crocs and Clan members, Pokemon fans, and others who will stump on this video? I'm Swords Crocs, and today I'm making the video I promised last week about Bonnie and the Bonnie tournament that I want to see in X and Y. So, you know, so it's can technically I want this to be. Uh, uh, first off, I want this to happen because I love Bonnie as a character, but it'll also be a time waster. Uh, I did want to make a video. At one point, talking about how the fact that Ash already has six gym badges, he's going on to the seventh one soon, uh, and Serena still only has one freaking key, and we really have nothing, like, we don't feel, I don't feel like we have enough time for a lot of things, right? So, I was thinking, you know, fuck it, Bonnie tournament, and there we go. So, what, what, this is what, this is what it is. So, last week I talked about the fact that we're soon getting an episode dedicated to Bonnie and the Tyrant. I would really like it if Clement would catch this Tyrant for Bonnie, so then she has two Pokemon. You know, you know, she's eventually going to start her journey, so might as well, you know, just saying. But, this is, what I talk, this is what I want to talk about. So, we've seen Bonnie. We know how Bonnie is. Personally, I think she's the most developed character out of the group, besides Ash, because, well, it's fucking Ash, and they usually try to focus on Ash. But, you look at Bonnie, Clement, and Serena... Who has more character development? Bonnie. And that, honestly, is also a problem of X and Y and why I have mixed feelings with it. Bonnie's not supposed to be a center character, okay? I'm glad that they are giving her focus so she doesn't feel like Max, because Max is a total waste of time and space. Uh, Clement, I feel like, should get more development. He has really not a lot. Uh, and Serena's just, she's just been, honestly, the worst. Like, I'm glad that they started doing something, but to me, she's still very lackluster as a character. She, she's honestly, like, Clement, Clement is technically the worst, but that's because they just haven't focused at all on him. Serena, they've kind of focused on her, and that's the biggest problem. She's still, I don't feel like, is a competent character. And honestly, just, just I just find her the most boring. I'm sorry. I know that Amora shipping is a huge deal right now. I'm sorry if you are part of that group. I just find her boring. I don't like Serena. I don't like her Pokemon. I just find her unnecessary. In fact, I feel like if it wasn't for this stupid ass showcase thing, she'd probably be the worst female character. It's, I'm being honest. She probably would be the worst if, if they hadn't started doing that. But besides the point, this is about Bonnie, right? I'm bringing it back to Bonnie. This is what I want. I want the, the gang to go to some random town, some random city, or some random place, you know, whatever. And there's a school, or a kindergarten, or whatever the fuck they want to talk about. Now, Bonnie, I feel like she's around six years old. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, six or seven, somewhere around there. Why don't we have Bonnie enter a mini tournament for kids, you know, where they have, you know, maybe they give, the, the teachers give the students Pokemon and then they can have little battles and stuff like that. Because like I said, we've seen Bonnie, she's very competent. She's able to give the Dene orders. I mean, heck, she's been able to get herself out of problems using the Dene. So that automatically proves she's able to act like a trainer, which is awesome. And I also would really appreciate it if they showed how much she's learned from Ash and Clement and even Serena uh, about Pokemon and stuff like that. And maybe, you know, maybe she gets away with the tournament, just saying, you know, just... Uh, or at least, at least second place. Okay, at least second place. I don't want anything else. With that. So what, what do I want for this? Let's talk about structure. So we get to the school. This is how I want to... We get to, we get to the town. And we see some of the kids playing around, and they see Ash and the gang. They're like, oh my gosh, look, trainers, and stuff like that. They go over there, and then they see Bonnie, and she has the Dene in her pouch, right? And they're like, oh my gosh, you have a Pokemon? And they, you know, you know, talking stuff. Um, they get taken to the school by the teacher who just randomly shows up. And they're like, oh my gosh, this is cool. And you see all the kids, and they're playing in the... There's Pokemon there, obviously, because uh, it's that type of school, and they're all having fun, and then, and then the teacher or the principal or somebody comes out and says they're going to have their, uh, I guess, weekly tournament or monthly tournament or some kind of weird-ass name, and all the kids get excited, and they all point at one kid who is always winning and shit, and they're like, oh my god, and like, there's all, no, no, this is, there's going to be one kid, one kid 
who's going to complain about the tournament because he's sick and tired of the fact that this other kid is always winning. And let's assume this other kid is a girl and he's a boy. So he's upset that she's always winning everything. And then they see, like, the, the one, like one of the kids that, you know, saw Bonnie and met her. And they're like, well, she has a Pokemon of her own already. And they're like, oh, my gosh. And then you see the Dene, and then they're like, well, why doesn't she join? And then they have the mini tournament. Maybe it's got to be small, obviously, because they're kids. They can't, like, have anything excessive and shit. And either Bonnie takes it or she doesn't. But as long as it's second place. And I want it to be against the kid, the little boy. Because Bonnie comforts him and stuff like that, and, you know, that stuff happens. And then the little boy beats the girl, and then it's, like, the final round is him versus Bonnie, and then he feels bad because she cheered him into beating her, and just awesomeness and epicness, and I would love it. And it's just for fun. It's the, honestly, it should be a time waster type of, of filler. Of, I mean, not, I mean, yeah, it would be filler. But, you know, just, just to stretch out the time until... We get more story stuff. And uh, it would be cool if she does get the tyrant. Because then she has variety. Because then she could be like, she's got her Dedenne. And then we have tyrants. And so we have like Bonnie asking her brother for her tyrant Pokeball. And then maybe that's how the final battle is. Maybe that's why she loses. Because she hasn't used a tyrant. So the, po the boy sends out his Pokemon. Then Bonnie sends out tyrants. And then they have some cool stuff. Oh my gosh. This would be awesome epicness of all kinds of proportions. And that's what I want. That's what I want. I want Bonnie to have a tournament. And her either take it or second place. Because she's awesome. And she deserves it. She needs... I mean, honestly, what is the point of her having all this development if we're not going to use it for anything? Might as well just do this. Just give her the tournament. Let me... And any other Bonnie fan, have it and have our fun time and enjoyment and just, you know, whatever. You know, just say, I just, that's, this, I mean, let's be real. Let's be real. She deserves it. She does. She deserves it because she is amazing. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Should she get a tournament? Should there be a tournament? Should anything happen? Should Bonnie, is Bonnie the worst character in the world? Let me know. I mean, at the end of the day, I am the one that loves her. Right? She's one of my favorite characters. Maybe she's not yours. Maybe you hate her guts and you want her to die. I don't freaking know. Let me know, though. Let me know in the comments. And if you do want a tournament, how do you want it to play out? Let me know that as well. Just tell me anything. Feel free. Just... Spill your heart out. Whatever the fuck you want. But that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Swords Croxon. And I'll see you guys in future videos.